All right. So I told you we was going to be doing micro series because there are tons of things you can do with the events. So here we go. In this video, we're going to click on the events because we want to create an event. As you see, I have no events. All right. So I'm going to click the plus green sign to get started. You can name this event what you want to name it. We'll call this load specific. That's so small. I can't even see it. All right. It's going to be a specific file that we're going to load up. In this scenario, we're going to click on the plus sign. You're going to see that we got a ton of things here, right? And we got to do a video on each one of them because it can be long, especially when you get down to select plug-in action. Now you got a whole nother list of stuff you can do. So that's why I said these are going to be micro series. So we're going to start at the top with the playlist. All right. There are some pros and cons to just loading a track because basically it means that track must never be removed from the system. And it's the only track that is going to load. I rarely, as a matter of fact, I never use this. And I'm going to tell you why. All right. So when you click on load track, it's going to, you're going to be able to search for what you're looking for. Right. Or you can do any category and subcategory and genre, right? So for this demonstration, I've loaded in some promos that I created from the previous video about AI show prompts. So I'm going to grab this first one. And so I highlight that. And down at the bottom, I think you can listen to it. Um, well, I got some music playing. So we're going to add that file. And then we're going to say add. Now you have the option to when this event runs to put this to the top of the queue or the bottom of the queue depends on what it is you need. Okay. So I'm gonna put it at the top of the queue and I'm going to add that action. All right. Simple as that, right? It is 54 after so I'm going to do 55 and we're going to add that event. That event is coming up in one minute. So what's going to happen is, it's going to load just that one file. And I'm going to go over here to promos. And we can see all of these promos, I just loaded them up, have zero count play. Okay. Now, I created the audio from the show prompt, the script that I got. But I haven't edited it yet. I just um, downloaded it. I'm going to edit it. I don't know if I'm going to add music to it. I'm just going to make it tight sounding okay so what i did was i jumped the video pause the video to get closer here okay here we go it's going to load it to the top now i did not tell it to play okay i only told it to load up therefore it's going to wait to whatever's playing to finish playing had i added let's go back to the had I added a play command as the next command. So go down here where it says playback and start playing. Had I added that, it would have started immediately. Okay. So I'm going to set this to, I don't know, maybe 50, 57. No. Yeah, 57.30. Or 40. Okay. It's coming up quick. Because I want to show you the difference. All right. So we're going to fast forward this. Let you hear it play. Now, the first time we loaded it, no play command. Okay. So it has to wait whatever's playing to finish. Every courtroom have symbols that no lawyer dares explain. Okay. Why do ancient scriptures hide financial codes? No church will preach. These aren't accidents. Okay. All right. So that was from the show prompt video that I showed you. 
All right, so now I got another one coming up, but this one is actually going to start playing it as soon as it loads because I told it to play. No lawyer dares explain. Why do ancient scriptures hide financial codes? No church will preach. Okay. These aren't accidents. So They're secrets. When, whenever you do the play command, a lot of times you won't even see it jump into the cue it jumps it right up to the player so it starts fading down what is playing and then starts playing it so you may not see it jump in the queue but what if i wanted it to jump in the queue first okay there's a nice little command i'm gonna go to the edit the event i'm gonna go to the plus if I scroll down, there's a nice little command that says seconds to wait right here. When you select that, you can say, look, wait three seconds, right? In other words, I'm putting the wait three seconds command line in the event. Now, the play command is above that, so it wouldn't make sense for that to even do anything. So I'm going to click on that seconds to wait and I'm going to drag it up and put it ahead of the play command. This way, I can see it load into the queue. So we're gonna do 59 and 30, and we're gonna see the difference. So what it's gonna do, it's gonna load into the queue, top of the queue, wait three seconds, and then play. dares explain okay why do ancient scriptures so that's all i'm gonna put in this video the simplicity of just picking a song now i do not think it matters let's say i wanted to move this to another category or subcategory i'm gonna move it over to jingles right i'm gonna move it over there let's see if that has any effect on whether or not that file will play So we at 1300 and 30. It's coming up real fast. So in this case, what we did was we moved that. Hmm. Okay. Oh, he came yet. There you go. <laughs> so you can see that because I picked that particular file even if i move that file to another category another subcategory that event will still pull that file hope this has helped make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this